I am Laurie Bates, and I represent Create Better Health Snap Ed Program. And I am teaching a lesson to the youth from Create My Plate. And I'm excited to be here. Don't I have some fun things to share with you today? I think we're going to go ahead and talk about healthy snacks, and we're going to make our healthy snack for today. It's a dip, a salsa dip. It's called creamy salsa. And then we're going to make our own chips. Cool, huh? Let's get started, shall we? Come on. Let's go. Get some Greek yogurt. We're going to get eight ounces of just Greek yogurt. Okay. And we're going to need a bowl. And a spoon. I'm just going to go ahead and put that in our dish. Get it all out. Nice. I'm going to need a cup of salsa. You can make your own even if you wanted. <gasps> Whoop! Just a cup. Get that mixed in there. And then kind of stir. Get that all nice and creamy. Oh gosh, this looks good already, doesn't it? Then we're going to go ahead and add some cumin, a teaspoon, or you could put a half. You know, it's going to add a little bit of just a little zip to it. So if you don't want, I'm not really too much into zip, but so I'll do a half a teaspoon, but you can do up to a teaspoon or more. Get that in there. And then some dried cilantro. It asks for a quarter of a cup of, of fresh, but I didn't have fresh, so I just had dried, so we're just going to put a tablespoon of that in. You can put whatever you want as far as that goes as well. Okay. Oh gosh, this looks good. And that's it. We've got dip. Look how easy. Snap, snap, snap. Really fast, right? Okay. So I'm just going to add a couple tablespoons of this into our dish. Maybe a quarter of a cup. That sounds kind of about right. Okay. And then let's make our chips. It's in the, my microwave's 900 watts. Um, so if you have a higher watt microwave, then you're going to have less time. And you're going to have to keep an eye on it so that you don't burn them. Because they burn really easy if you don't. Okay? So I took a, a heart because we're celebrating Valentine's pretty soon. And I'm going to go to the very side. These are really small corn tortillas. So if you got the bigger ones, you might be able to get more from yours. So I'm going to do one heart and then um, just like that, okay? Then with the rest of this, I'm going to go ahead and cut, I'm going to use a table knife, you don't have to use a sharp knife, some chip triangles out of the rest of it. Just like so, so we don't waste any of it. So I got three, four chips out of this whole thing. Or you could just go ahead and just make chips by cutting this in half, just like that, and then cutting it in fours, and then you get chips like this. Okay, that works out good too, just like that. But they do do well with cookie cutters, and that makes it really fun. All right, so I got all of my hearts on a paper plate. I'm going to take some canola oil and just spray one side. And then I'm going to use everything but bagel, sesame, garlic instead of salt. But you can use a pinch of salt if you want. But I love this seasoning. So you can use paprika, you could put just a little bit of pepper, 
it's really how you would like it. Okay, spray the other side. So turn them over and spray the other side. Sprinkle with a little bit more of your seasoning that you that you. We're gonna do in our microwave now. When you're choosing um, to see if you want to see what your wattage is, sometimes it'll be up here. Sometimes it'll be right here. Sometimes it'll be in the back or the box when you buy it. Okay, so we're gonna put it on 30 seconds first on a 900 watt microwave. It doesn't take too long and I'm gonna stand right here and watch it because we don't want it to burn, right? All right, then we're going to take it out and it looks a little bubbly and then we're gonna go ahead and flip, they're a little flimsy so be careful and they're hot. So if you need to use a fork, which you might have to, okay? And then put it in again and then cook that for another 30 seconds. And then you get something like this. It's a chip, did you hear that? Eight of those chips, which is two tortillas, and some sauce, salsa. And just kind of dip a roux and away you go. Mmm. So, wow, that was pretty good. All right. So, that is our healthy snack for today. What'd you think? Pretty cool, huh? And easy. Easy snacks. I wanted you to see some different kinds of foods that might and are in the my plate. Um, we have fruits and vegetables, protein, grains, and dairy in the my plate, right? The first thing I wanted to talk to you about was candy bars. We all like candy bars, right? I have a baby Ruth right here and I'm going to look on the uh, label and it says 260 calories. I want you to see that. Okay, and that's the label. And then I want you to know that this is a sometime food, but as an everyday healthy snack, it's probably not a good thing. Okay, then I wanted to show you what one serving for the same amount of calories as the Baby Ruth would be on these cookies. Okay, these are 150 calories for five little cookies. And this was 160. So we're going to get about eight cookies for the same amount as that baby root, okay? And I'll show you that in a minute. So let's count them, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? And so these aren't even the bigger size, these are the mini ones. And here is the label for that, got it? All right, so you could have eight cookies, these small cookies, and then there's a candy bar, okay? Then, that could be a sometime thing, but I wanted to show you what you could have instead that would be healthier, okay? Oh, I forgot too. Your chips. 15 of them, okay, that's also a sometime food. Instead of those particular items, okay, we could get three small bananas, okay. So three of those instead of this. We could have three fourths of a cup of pistachio nuts. Okay. instead of this. 
if we wanted a, a whole grain, sorry, I broke one, but four of these large crackers, okay, instead of the candy bar. Not half, because I broke half. Instead of this. Oh, do you think it's one cup of strawberries? No, three cups of strawberries. There are 45 calories just in this one cup. 45, that's it. Yum, I love strawberries. Do you guys like strawberries? I sure do. So three of these for this. Okay, carrots. How much do you think the carrots are? Look at this. You see that that label right there? It says for this whole package, you're looking at 140 calories. So you'd get one and a half of these. This is a big package. This is 12 ounces. And there are four servings in this package. Okay. So you would get about one and a half of the, these packages. So one whole one and then a half. Or you could have this. This would be more filling, wouldn't it? Along with our strawberries and our nuts. Okay, then we could also get a granola bar. And these are um, 170, so we could have one and a half of the granola bars of these particular brands. There might be some uh, granola bars out there that are not as high. Or I could have this, okay? Then, let's look at the, this is called No Sugar Added Fruit Popsicles. And that for one of them, it's 25 calories. And then for three, it's 80. So we could have one of these, or we could have six, seven, eight popsicles for one of these. Crazy, huh? So are you thinking, wow, I know I would be. Look at this. Okay, there's. This is a called a dual label, where they do one popsicle right here, and then three popsicles. All right, so you can see that what snacks that what snacks you choose really makes a big difference on how much you can have and how many things. Um, are in at a certain amount of calories. Okay, so in the granola bars, not only do we have calories, everything has calories except for water or maybe diet soda or stuff like that, but they also have carbohydrates for energy and fiber to help our digestive system. Okay, and then we can even do homemade granola bars, which is even better. And then if you wanted three containers of pudding, that would be calcium for our bones. Um, if you chose three oranges instead of that candy bar, it would help us reduce our cholesterol. It would help our cancer risk. It would help suppress our appetite, give us fiber, help our cuts to heal with vitamin C. We could eat four small apples and build our immunity, fight cancer again. We can help fight Alzheimer's disease. Or the three bananas that we have today, we could lower our cancer risk, right, with these bananas. Um, we can reduce asthma symptoms and burn fat. The baby carrots, these have antioxidants, they fight cataracts, they fight cancer. So you can see that all of these 
do so much more than what this little candy bar does, okay? Celery, if you wanted to choose celery, it would be fiber and water and negative calories, okay? Three bags of popcorn, plain popcorn, give us fiber and grains for energy as well. Nuts, like a half a cup or three-fourths cup of pistachios fight heart disease and diabetes. Uh, pretzels, you could do 50 pretzels, and that also is carbohydrates for energy, and it also fills you up. So those are all fun things that you could choose, or you could choose the candy bar that has calories. It has a little bit of nuts, a teeny, teeny bit, but not very much. It's three grams of protein in here. So it does have some protein, but it's got 50 two grams of sugar. So that's about 10 to 11 teaspoons. That's a lot, huh? So it's important that we read our labels. Very, very important until we get familiar with them. Let's say if we eat bananas all the time, then we would know that, you know, they have, um, can get three of them for about 250 calories so that's really good so they're about 60 to 75 calories per banana or that one cup of strawberries whole whole strawberries is 45 calories okay so from now on you will know that so the more you get familiar the better it will be and looking at our serving sizes on our labels so we know kind of what that looks like this this is a serving and you don't even get that in those little teeny bags that you get at the store for two bucks okay so it's not very much and we think that the whole bag is a serving but it's not so everyone needs to move and exercise every day and it's really important that we choose some activities that have us stretching all parts of our body. Reach for the sky. Can you get up and reach for the sky and then cross our hands in front, go around and around like this with our arms and then run and walk. Those are all fun things we could do. We could even do relays. And it would be way fun to, to practice and have a fun freeze. Like, do it really fast. Freeze. And then have someone say, freeze. So there's all kinds of fun things that you can do that will make you healthier each and every day. You can Well, have a wonderful week. I'll see you next Wednesday. This is Larry Bates from my home to yours.